And I'm looking for some likes. Give me some likes, please. Am I missing something? You want likes for walking in the snow? How about you stop paying for the rape torture? Boy, if you don't Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, XE. Welcome back to a brand new video. So, that vegan teacher. We've all heard of her, right? It seems like this lady is hated on the internet by literally everybody. In fact, just a few weeks ago, that vegan teacher was calling out Tommy in it for whatever reason and going after him. And of course, because of the diehard fans of Tommy in it, that wasn't really a good thing for her reputation. And there was another thing just a few days ago where Gordon Ramsay actually called out that vegan teacher and called her a vegan donut. Let's take a look at that real quick. And hey, before I actually show the clip, if you guys could just leave a subscribe with post notifications on and just make sure you watch through the entire video because both of those things truly help me out. Anyway guys, let's continue with the video. Eating animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Hurting animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Share this song. And if you call me a donut, that's fine. Vegan donut. Bro, did you hear that? Gordon Ramsay, the freaking roast master, bro. But on top of Gordon Ramsay roasting the literal shit out of her, no pun intended, there's actually been more drama spiking up with that vegan teacher. This drama includes George Not Found, and if you don't know who George Not Found is, he's one of the members of the Dream SMP, and shows up very much on Dream's YouTube channel as George is one of his closest friends. I mean, you would think that Mrs. Karen learned her lesson with Tommy in it when she got a bunch of backlash for that situation. But boy, is that so wrong. In fact, just yesterday, she decided to call out George George for paying for the killing of animals. Really. I'm looking for some likes. Give me some likes, please. Am I missing something? You want likes for walking in the snow? How about you stop paying for the murder of innocent animals and be vegan? Then I'll like you. You know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just really enjoy eating my steak. I really enjoy eating my burgers, you know. But on a real note, I hate how her freaking message is to stop paying for the murder of innocent animals. But, like, we're not paying for that. We're paying for some good-tasting food, am I right? There's no way you're gonna make literally everybody in the world become vegan. It's just not gonna happen. And I like how she throws around that people are APE, innocent animals, when they really don't. That would be bestiality, and that's already illegal. So that's just one of your points already misproven in, like, a few seconds. I think the problem with her calling out all these big creators is that she's trying to get recognition from them but it's just failing horribly like to the point to where literally everybody hates her like even actual vegans hate her and that's not because she's a vegan i don't mind that she's vegan i don't hate vegans in any way it's just the way that she advertises being vegan by like calling mcdonald's the scum of the earth or whatever or straight up telling meat eaters that they're like gonna go to hell if they continue eating meat it's just kind of screwed up because i don't think you've ever heard of this but it's called the circle of life like if hurting animals is so bad then why do they do it in the wild all the time and it's like i want to hear out her argument so bad but like i just i just can't because it's so utterly garbage and terrible i mean she would just be the type of person to call somebody a nazi instead of just saying that the vegan diets are healthy and you know after making all of these claims and you know calling people nazis if they're not vegans you would think that she would be able to take criticism right wrong. She actually likes to call whoever disagrees with her a vegan phobe, which is, I, I guess, is a word that she made up. And it's not an actual word. She just freaking made it up to call whoever disagrees with her that. And if we look at the word homophobic, it's something that hates gay people. And I find it very annoying and very irritating that she calls people like me a vegan phobe, when I literally could give less of a shit if you're a vegan. The only reason I would hate vegans is because that vegan teacher is a part of them. And I really don't like it when people get mad at me for me just eating a good burger or a pork tenderloin. Like, come on, man. But no, I guess I'm going to hell. Another really annoying thing about that vegan teacher is that she somehow manages to bring in veganism to something that literally has nothing to do with veganism or being vegan. I mean, for example, the clip of George Not Found that I just showed. I mean, this man's video had nothing to do with veganism or meat or food at all. He was literally just asking for likes while walking in the snow. And she somehow manages to make some bullshit excuse on how that could be linked to veganism. Like, this video literally had nothing to do with veganism. It would be one thing if George was eating a steak in the video and that vegan teacher was replying to that but the thing is is that this video literally had nothing to do with eating food at all so like i don't know why that vegan teacher is trying to pull this out of her ass like i don't know man maybe i want to listen to you if you didn't look like you were seconds away from dying like you legit advertise how being vegan has so many positive benefits on your body but it hasn't treated you well as we can see all right so i was going to end out the video but it turns out that that vegan teacher has made another tiktok regarding george not found and apparently this time she's on george's side so i don't really know where the switch happened but you know let's just take a look at this.
If this was a TikTok to come first, then it would have been completely fine, so I don't really know why she didn't do that. Of course, there would probably still be some problems because Miss Katie doesn't have the most clean background when it comes to her TikTok, but there would have been no actual problems. So, of course, if there's no context behind this TikTok, then it's not a problem. The only problem with this TikTok is that it comes after another TikTok where she calls him out for hating animals, which most likely is not the case. I mean, I don't know, man. It looks like she's going after every single person in the Dream SMP. I mean, starting off with freaking Tommy and it, now she's at George not found. I wonder who's gonna be next. And you know, I honestly want to see a problem with a lady just trying to promote being vegan and how it could be good for you. But then she decides to post shit like this. You don't like vegan food? Uh, yes ma'am. I actually like eating my burgers. I like eating my pork chops, my pork tenderloins, you know? I don't give a rat's ass if you don't like vegan food. This isn't about no offense to the rats or their asses. But I don't give a fuck if you don't like vegan food. Just eat the fucking food and shut up. All right, Mrs. Katie, I actually have a recommendation for you. Why don't you take a drive and go out to your local McDonald's, maybe your local Chick-fil-A. I mean, heck, even if you have a local Five Guys near you, why don't you take a drive there and grab a burger? I promise you it will not disappoint. I mean, hell, man. Why do you have to be so toxic about everything? You see how I just recommended you to meet without being super toxic? I mean, holy crap, Miss Karen, it's not that hard. I just want to put it out there. I literally have nothing against vegans. It's the fact that she's being hella toxic about it. Like, I don't know, man. She just keeps trying to do this formula where she's super toxic about veganism and hopefully gets people to switch to being vegan and it's obviously failing terribly so i don't know why she keeps trying to be super toxic about being vegan i mean it fails so terribly that her entire comment section just a few months ago were filled up with people saying how they would eat meat and not worry about being vegan and they spammed it so much to the point to where she literally had to disable comments on all of her videos like if that's not just a giant red flag waving in your face and i don't know what is like i don't know how you can't possibly know how your strategy or tactic tactic on getting people to like you on the internet isn't working. But yeah, as I said earlier, she's gone for two people in the Dream SMP, and I just have to wonder, what if she went after Dream? Like, what would she say to that? Yeah, guys, Dream is a filthy meat eater, and he speedruns. So if you speedrun, make sure you eat only vegan food, only tofu. And on top of that, make sure your dog in Minecraft is also vegan. I mean, I genuinely would not be surprised if she said that, because let's be honest, guys, the vegan diet has taken a toll on her mental capacity. I mean, no one, and I mean no one who's not under the influence influence acts like this. But yeah, guys, I think that's where I'm going to wrap up the video. But if you made it this far in the video, make sure you let people know in the comments by saying that you're a proud meat eater. But yeah, guys, I thought I'd just go ahead and put it out there that you guys definitely shouldn't go and witch hunt the people that I talk about in these videos. These videos are meant for entertainment only and more harassment doesn't really fix the situation. So yeah, guys, I just thought I'd put that out there. But yeah, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe with post notifications on and join the Discord server link in description. But yeah, guys, I hope you all have a great one. I'll catch you all later. Peace. Is this where Atlantis is? Head underwater, I demand a bridge The sun's too far, not close to get So we put it on wax like Icarus Uh, that's vinyl Tryna feel richy like Lionel Niggas only wanna ride the wave when it's title They ain't even read the book, all the spark notes But somehow niggas feel so entitled Everything that I do is clutch Uh, tell these niggas hold on to their purses Rap like you button mash in a street fighter Tell these niggas hold on